So please take your textbook. Good evening, all of you. We can uh, resume the lesson and we can complete today. The name of the lesson is the landscape of the soul. Landscape of the soul by Nathalie Traveller. And you take page number 36. Page number 36. Getting inside outside rot. So getting inside outside rot. So anyhow, we have started yesterday. Uh, once again, for your better understanding, now you can see that when French painter, right? French painter Jean Dababat mooted the concept of art brood. You can underline the word art brood means raw art. Raw art in the sense that something it's like a confused one. Something, you know, we can take that it is something not clear. That is known as art brood means not clear. So art brood in the 1940s. The art of the untrained visionary was of the minority interest. You know, I already told you that. What is the meaning? Untrained visionary, untrained underlying the word. You know, formal and of course, you know, informal. Sometimes we are saying that, right? And already I also brought it a story. That means example. That means, you know, for an example, Mason, who is working, you know, too many years and uh, working with the engineer by getting the knowledge. And they also started to build a house like. Here we are taking that the art of the untrained, untrained, not professionals was a minority interest in the sense, something somewhere it started from its almost veiled, veiled in the sense, underline the word, not clear beginning. So when they started, that, that form started, that was somewhat, you know, veiled, veiled in the sense, totally, you know, not clear, vague, vague form. And outside art has gradually become the fastest growing area. So once you can also remember, right, I think around um, uh, 10 years or 12 or around 10 to 13 years back when you are uh, thinking that, you know, when you go back and of course get an idea um, and 001, I think so, or uh, some some Nokia phones, right? Some uh, two, two or three or some Nokia phones were very famous. That means, you know, that time only we started to use. But in 2020, you can take 2021. Now you are seeing that, you know, everybody has even Apple or something, you know, iPhones and uh, Android mobiles, uh, smartphones. Now we cannot see all those mobiles once we used. It means you know, getting fast something. That's why here has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally. Contemporary in the sense, the present time and internationally. And of course, they also started to recognize. When the majority and of course the population of popularity or something, you know, it is uh, spreading and of course reaching among the people, it will be accepted, right? Anything, anything you can take. Uh, too many words from even, you know, Tamil language, whatever we felt and of course we started to use also accepted by, you know, here we are taking uh, talking, um, taking an example, uh, Expert Dictionary and of course Collins Dictionary and uh, some we can Cambridge Dictionary, they also started. Are you? That also got added already. That also added already. Like there is a meaning, right? Expression when we are having pain and we are uh, uh, speaking that, you know, pronouncing. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Now we can see that. So from its almost veiled beginnings, outside art has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally. For that only, I just brought all those examples. So you can you can also understand easily by getting those examples. Now you can see this genre is described. This genre is known as the variety. That means the form we can consider. Genre also we can pronounce, but actual pronunci pronunciation is genre. And this genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artists as they have received no formal training. This is what I already told you, the mass and example also. So whatever I brought for your understanding. So they have no formal training. Profess professionals, we cannot say that. So here, who have no right to be artists. But anyhow, they started that form that is known as outsider art. So here to be artists as they have received no have received as they have received no formal no that that you know changes that that means the sentence can be a, a negative sentence. So artists as they have received no formal training as an artist as a painter a professional yet so talent and artistic insight. Anyhow right even though they don't have we can consider you know formal training but they they, they possess some qualities. 
we can consider, right? And of course, without proper training, Carnatic music also, even for proper uh, training and formal education, they are some, they are becoming dancers, singers. Too many examples we are also seeing nowadays. So you can see yet so talent and artistic insight, right? And then their works are stimulating contrast. You know, what is the meaning stimulating, which is, you know, inducing us, so stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings. I already told you yesterday, I told you that what is the meaning mainstream offerings in the sense that means, you know, professional, professional one. We can consider professional one mean, well, professionals are professional one means we can take that, which is, you know, perfect and recognized and certified and of course qualified, you know, very common. That means, you know, it is recognized by the society and of course particular, you know, organization. So here their works are uh, stimulating contrast. It is something in you know, opposite and of course something different. That's why it is getting, you know, uh, fame and of course uh, recognition later and day by day like. So their works are a stimulating contrast opposite of mainstream. Something is totally different. They have a formal training. They have formal tools. They have a formal format. You know, for an example, for wall painting, they have a format or board or whatever it is, oil painting. Too many things are there when we talk about artists, art and of course, you know, craft, taking painting. So they, they are following known as mainstream offerings, but they are somewhat different. They are using maximum you know waste materials that's why it is that's why their works are a stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings our work is totally different from the you know professionals professionals you know very well from the formula they have to follow the formats principles of that particular education or whatever it is anything you can take so around the time double bat double bat or gene double bat was profounding Underline the word profounding means presenting his concept even in India, and of course by using a personality, and his name was you know Nick Chand. And untutored, underline the word, what is the meaning untutored genius means? Genius, but he was not tutored. You know what is the meaning tutored? Means educated. And untutored genius was creating paradise. You know what is the meaning paradise? So something it is it is culture. We are taking in you know, sculptures, or we can take, you know, even drawings even paintings. So an untutored genius was creating paradise. Years ago, the little patch, I, I told you, what is the meaning little patch? Patch means uh, taking part of jungle that he became clearing to make himself a garden sculptured. I have a close bracket. A garden sculptured with stone, underline the word stone, and recycled materials. Now you can see the recycle. What is the meaning recycle? Waste materials is known. To the world today as a rock garden at Chandigarh. Chandigarh, it is very famous. Now we are seeing the image by using waste materials and of course stones. Art and art, we can art and culture like art and craft like sculpture work. You know what is the meaning sculpture by using waste materials? It is like collage making. You know what is the meaning collage making by using waste materials? We are preparing some concept. Here also there is a concept he used to that by using. This is also considered as an outside art. Now you can see a rock garden sculpture made of broken bangles by Nekchan. Made of broken bangles. You can see all those in that image by Nekchan. Now it's it's eight, 80 years old creator director Nekchan is now hailed. Underline the word hailed means accepted or recognized or welcomed. Hailed underline the word recognized are welcomed, accepted as India's biggest contributor to outside art. So for any any profession, we have an example, right? We have a pioneer. You know what is the meaning? Pioneer, P-I-O-N-E-E-R. Pioneer means model, right? We have a we have a role model. We have a model. Likewise, you're talking about outside art. Eight, it's 80 years old the creator named director. He was a director and he, he and of course his name he was named Nick Chand is now hailed in the sense accepted by all the society. We can take, you know, even accepted by the world as India's biggest contributor. What is many contributor? Something provided by someone. So I'm contributing something. I'm contributing to education sector, like a teaching profession. You are also, you will be also one day. So here is now hailed as India's biggest. He, he was recognized as India's biggest contributor to outside arts by creating the drop garden sculpture made of broken bangles. Right, the 50th is used, spring 2005. That means of raw vision, a UK based magazine, you underline that, UK, United Kingdom based magazines, too many famous 
right? Too many famous magazines are there in the world. You can take even USA, you can go for UK, you can go for some other Europe countries and you can take that. For in India, we can we can always remember, right? Some, some other uh, magazines are very famous. Likewise, you can see that uh, UK based magazine Pioneer in outside art publications. And of course, they just, you know, published our work features Nick Chen and this rock garden sculpture that means named women by the waterfall. Name of the sculpture, rock garden, it means named by Nick Chen. And of course, it was recognized by UK based magazine Pioneer, especially for in outside art publications, especially for outsider art, especially for that. For sports and games, we have a separate periodicals or something like it is known as magazines. Like that. Maria, outside art is very famous on our magazine, Pioneer, uh, UK based. They just you know published about something related to Nick Chen's uh, garden sculpture that is named Women by the Waterfalls on its anniversary issues cover. Something you know they also recognized and they issue covers also. The notion, underline the word, the notion, the means motion. The notion of art brute or raw art have a closer bracket, right? Art brute or raw art, both are equal. Art brute, raw art. This is what I already told you that invented. It was invented by Jean Dababat, but anyhow in India it, it became very famous by the contribution by Nick Chand, right? The notion or the motion of art brute or raw art was of works that were in the in their raw state as regards culture and artistic influence, anything and everything from a thing to a sink. Have a close to bracket. A thing to a sink means maybe we can consider a small to a big. Thin to a sink means a small to a big to a broken down card. That means you know, anything and everything from a thing to a sink. That means a small pieces to we can take small pieces to big ones. Anything we can take, any points we can take, even even a stick, even a stick, even a matchbox sticks also we can take that. Or you can go for a broken car, or you can go go for a broken bus. Anything we can take. It's like you know broken anything totally collapsed also, which which is considered waste one, right? Anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car would be material for a work of art. Something. Nick Chand has taken to this scene. Underline the word. This scene means maybe, uh, maybe we can have a having a whirling, you know, sensation. That means this scene heights. That means you know, we will be surprised while looking at that. This scene heights. Underline that. This scene heights means so by using waste materials, he just made us, you know, maybe something it is like surprise, stunned one, amazed, distinguished. Like we are taking that. So here. Something Nick Chen has taken to the same heights and recognizing his art as an outsider, outstanding, underline that outstanding testimony. You know what is the meaning outstanding means excellent. Excellent testimony means proof. Underline the word testimony means proof by using waste materials. You understand, sir? So an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream. You understand? So that's why Solomon Lavala wanna pull my them in Solomon in Tamil. That is a saying, old saying, but of course it is known as gold saying. Or golden in one, we can say that. Golden in one. That means very, very famous. Very famous. Evergreen. That means Palaman Kapulumaida. By using waste materials, he also, you know, something created an outstanding outstanding testimony. So here an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make. When he lives his dream, that means when he wanted to something in you know, that means that his dreams, you know, we can take that his dream comes or came through like this. And of course, he had the Swiss Commission for UNESCO. You know, what is the meaning UNESCO? That expansion of UNESCO, you know, very well, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Cultural, right? That is very important. So the Swiss Commission for UNESCO will be honoring him, underline or honoring him. Nick Chen by way of European exposition of his work. Something you know that was modern. So here we are talking about classical and of course classical Chinese painting or landscape from uh, classical. And then we just came and of course came forward and started to discuss related to figurative painting or modern painting or Western painting. Now we're talking about outside. So outsider is by using waste material that was not professionally done. 
but anyhow it became very famous and of course reached the world and very famous and it was invented by jean de Beauvoir from france but anyhow in india it became very famous by Nekchan, especially as Ram of Nekchan. So that's why here, and uh, the Swiss Commission for UNESCO will be honoring him by way of a uh, European exposition of his work, the fifth month interactive show. They called, and of course, they recognized Ram of Nekchan. You underline the whole? So, Ram, Ram of, Realm of, Realm, Realm of Nekchan means Kingdom of Nekchan, which is known as India. India is especially Chandigarh. There he just created by using waste materials and that became very popular. And of course, the world started to recognize that is known as outside art. Beginning October will be held at leading museums in Switzerland and Belgium, France and Italy, right? The biggest reward is walking. And here, next chance sees that have a closer bracket, whatever it is, the world recognized. And of course, all the you know NGOs and of course, governmental sector, they recognized and of course, accepted outside art. But... What we get from Nekchan, he says, the biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation. So what that is what is, you know, real reward. This is what he was saying that whenever, you know, they, he was interviewed, he said that. In the UNESCO, Leo, Ilana, on the Switzerland, Leo, Italy, Leo, France, Leo, or Belgium, Leo, in recognition of in my country, in my people, where where when I when I am just you know seeing my people when they are enjoying my creation, that is my biggest reward. That is an additional information you don't want to worry about. But anyhow, what is the meaning art brought and raw art? You should know that. Now you can take understanding the text. Understanding the text, you can also see that. So contrast the Chinese view of the art with the European view with the examples. Explain the concept of Sanxi. You know what's the meaning Sanxi means. Sanxi means mountain water and what do you understand by the terms outside art and art brought or art this is what just now i have explained who was the untutor genius who created a paradise so here we are talking about gene dapabat and of course next chant and what is the nature of his contribution to art outside art by using waste materials talking about the text to discuss the foreign statements in the groups of four and you can likewise one by one you can read and understand the textbook right Textbook activities. Sir, up to 4, 5.15, you have to wait. I am just I am in the conclusion. Yes, sir. Sir, can you see the introduction now? Can you see the introduction? Sir, can you see the introduction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So introduction, introduction now you can see under the written by Natalie Trovarai. The chapter is about how different Chinese art form is from the European art form. This is what very importantly we have just discussed, right? The writer uses two stories to make contrast. Two stories to make a contrast. What is the meaning contrast? The mission opposite natures. And European art is about reproducing an actual view, whereas Chinese art is about not creating a real landscape. European art, Western, right? Modern painting. So here, European art is about reproducing an actual view. That means, you know, whatever it is related to image, or we can say figure, figurative painting. That means there will be, that means we have to get the eyes. That means in the view, how the painter, how the artist is looking at the picture, likewise, when we look at the picture, we will get the ideas. Whereas Chinese art is about not creating a real landscape. That means there are too many concepts will be there. There will be an inner life. There will be an inner life. We have to identify. European artists and artists way to let viewers show exactly what he wants them to see in the landscape. But Chinese artists, the artists, spiritual and inner voice where you can travel from any point and it's, you know, lets the viewer creates a path for their imagination. This is the introduction for the lesson, landscape of the soul. What is the theme? The writer contrast, I mean, uh, that means expresses. We are taking the, the writer contrast, shows differentiations. Chinese art with European, that means, uh, that means it's like differentiations, combines. So the writer contrast Chinese art with European art by recounting, that means, you know, narrating, Two stories about Chinese art. Two stories. We can remember. Who dies a story and of course a painter story. 
who was unable to draw the eye of a, or eyes of the dragon, right? Two stories you can record, you can uh, remember. So here, Chinese art with European art by recounting two stories about Chinese art and one story about European art. European art in 15th century, Antwerp. Antwerp is known as Belgium, right? It's a place in Belgium. And of course, he was a Belgian and uh, Flander. Uh, Belgian, and of course, we are taking the Antwerp, and uh, his name was Quinton Metzies, right? And he he just uh, drew, and of course, we are, as I said, he drew uh, a fly on the panel, and of course, by that, he was recognized. So here, the Europeans want a perfect likeness, illusionistic likeness, perfect likeness. Whereas in Asia, our classical painting, art is the essence of life and spirit. Chinese art requires the active participation of the viewer both physically and mentally to understand it. That means landscape. There will be a spirit. You know, what is the meaning spirit? Or there will be a soul, inner life of a painting. We have to identify characters. Who dies? It? Who dies is the 8th century Chinese landscape painter. This appeared inside his last painting. An emperor Swang Song, in the emperor Swang Song, he admired Dozi's painting, but was not an active participant in it. He was just looking at only outside. He didn't, you know, he didn't go inside the painting. That's why he, he was unable to follow the painter who has disappeared or who disappeared. And then third one, that means in the figurative painting, modern painting, that means in a Western painting, Quentin Metzies, and he was a blacksmith, you know, very well. And here he was a 15th century Belgian blacksmith who changed his profession to become a delicate realist painter and marry the woman he loved by painting a fly on his, you know, father and brother's panel. You can remember the story. And summary, comparison between European and Chinese art. So here, European, comparison between European and Chinese art. This chapter is a comparative study. This, this is what, you know, I have been doing that, I think, uh, since Monday or I can, since Saturday. Uh, you can also see that now. This chapter is a comparative or for around you know, four days. This chapter is a comparative. You know, what is the meaning of comparative study? We are comparing two elements, two things, and uh, having a study. This chapter is a comparative study of European and Chinese painting. It touches upon various subtleties. Subtleties in the subtleties. We can pronounce the word subtleties. Sub B is silent. So the subtleties means uh, we can say unable to detect, find out something you know complex understanding but taking that subtleties means the quality of being difficult to detect or analyze so here it touches upon various subtleties of reality and art art is one of the forms of expressions like poetry music and dance art is also accepted recognized so all these forms of expressions have an abstract nature as they can't be defined and have to be felt or experienced the chapter has three important areas of discussion. Three important. This, this chapter has three important areas of discussion. Anecdotes, underline the word anecdotes means, you can write, it means evidence related to Chinese and European painting. Daism, Daism and Daism, who dies is principles. Daism and how? One of the philosophical doctrines, doctrines means dogma, principles of Daism called the Sansi. Sansi means mountain water connected with, you know, universe. That means, you know, we can take Naladu Ketadu, Iravu Patal, Suryan Chandra. No matter we can take, likewise, you know, positive, negative. So that's why the diagram called the Sansi, it is reflecting in China's painting, a Chinese painting. Anecdote about Chinese painter, who dies is? Who, who dies is? The 8th century Chinese emperor, Zhuang Chang, commissioned a painter named Who Dies to paint a landscape. When the painting was ready, the emperor was invited to appreciate it. He enjoyed looking at the forest, high mountains, waterfalls, clouds, men on hilly paths, birds in flight, and so on, depicted in the painting. But the painter was not satisfied, and he invited the attention of the emperor towards a cave in the painting, inside which the painter said, resided, or we can go far, leaped a spirit. The painter clapped his hands, causing the entrance to the cave, and then the painter said, the inside is splendid, beyond anything words can convey, Please let me show your majesty the way. The painter entered the cave and the cave disappeared. He also disappeared. The cave door closed and the painting disappeared from the wall before the emperor. Good morning. 
right? This is what we discussed. Everything I explained. This is for your better understanding. I will also share in the group this material. You can make use of this. An anecdote about European painter Quentin Metzies. A 15th century Belgian blacksmith named Quentin Metzies fell in love with a painter's daughter, knowing that her father would not accept him because of his profession. And he secretly entered the painter studio and painted such a realistic fly on the artist panel that the master tried to sweat it before he realized that it was not real one. Quentin was accepted by the painter and uh, by the master as an apprentice. What is the meaning of apprentice? It means assistant. Married as beloved and of course soon became famous for his realism in painting. Another story, figurative painting story. And uh, meaning of the tales. Such stories as that about who dices are very common in China's classical education. It was through such stories that great masters made abstract concepts concrete. Concrete means standard. Such tales reveal, that means explains, opens. Such tale op tales open that art has an inner life. So ultimate objective is art to go inner life. That is we wrote them so inner life, meaning our soul. So life meaning our soul. Only when one is able to see that inner life can one understand its true meaning. We have to think, we have to change ourselves as an artist. Or artist right? Or for an example, when you are visiting a natural, natural scenery, you have to think like poet. You have to look at things, look at the things like poet. Poet you can also write. You can also lyrics you can write. Poets are That means, you know, especially we can take nature poets or romantic poets and so on. Nature or romantic poets, you can take anybody else. So for an example, we can go for, you know, Albert Lord Tennyson and uh, Robert Frost, John Heath, Percy Bysi, Sally, romantic poets and so on. What is the meaning of a romantic poet? Okay, nah, romanticism of being brother, talking about nature, dealt with, dealt with nature. Even totally different. waterfalls Oh, super. But they will write a poem. You understand? Likewise, we have to look at the painting. So here, the emperor had appreciated the painting only from the what he saw. And he could only see the body of the painting outside. Whereas the painter tried to show him the soul, the inner life of and the inner life and meaning of the painting. Similarly, Quentin Metzis signified illusionistic likeness in European painting. So the same holes we are taking, that means keeps good for the story about the frightening likeness of a dragon to a real one, which prevented a Chinese painter from drawing its thing. Another story talking about the painter who was unable to, was not ready to draw the eye of the dragon. Otherwise, as he felt that, then the dragon would see him and attack him. Right? Basic of Chinese paintings. So just a quick, uh, glance we can have. Chinese paintings are based on the philosophy of Daizen and of course Daizen, who Daizen was very famous. Dao means, here we are taking the means path or way. Vali, the way into the mystery of the universe. Daizen was very famous. Our Daizen is very famous in China. The emperor may rule over territories, but the artist alone knows the way within. Way within, that means in the, in the picture, in the painting, in the landscape. Life has no meaning unless we undertake the inner spiritual journey. Likewise, we have to look at the painting. When Hu Dai said, let me show you the way, let me show you the way, he meant the way to the inner meaning of art and mystery of the universe. And this is the spirit of Chinese paintings, and they do not reproduce an actual view, but use a real landscape to say something more. A Chinese painter, they form, wants a viewer to take plural view. That means not a single viewpoint. Too many plural view points to enter into a painting and travel in it. You can travel. That means you, know, you can enjoy the painting, not in any particular way. That means you can go for any point of view. He wants our active participation, not only physical, but also mental. Mental participation. Mentally, we have to submit ourselves to the painting. This landscape is not a copy of a real landscape. It is a representation of an inner reality. So it's only in imagination. A spiritual and of course conceptual space. You know what is the meaning spiritual related to spirit? And that means we are taking the holiness. And of course, conceptual means related to an idea. Everything is in his mind. Right? That's why classical painting a mindset in Solomon, Mana Nele, our Kalepia, the Varinjangala, the Ketamar Namapaka. 
But when we are looking at the figurative painting, we can just only the view, the view, the way uh, figurative painting painters when they're looking at the picture like this, we can see we will get an idea of this. What Dyson is up in According to Dyson, this universe is composed of two complementary poles. This as follows. This means as follows. Yin, yin means feminine and yang masculine. So yin is water. That means you know female nature. And yang masculine, that means male nature. The interaction of these two energies makes the universe. Of course, right? Their meaning and of course their meaning, uh, their meeting point. We are now we are knowing that meeting point. That means interaction takes place. Their meeting point called the middle void. That means empty place and also holds great significance. Though it is often overlooked. I already told you that yesterday. Overlooked in the sense. That is why we are not going to do it. We are going to do it. We are going to do it. We are going to do it. But it is empty space. That means talking about you know, pranayama. Right? Like we speak. So here. And overlooked means ignored. This can be compared with the yoga practice of pranayama. That means, you know, mulchi paichin chalavom. Swasam, anda swasam chalavom. Breathe in, then retain the air, then breathe out. The retain part is the middle void. Enga nama hold pan yoga chalavom. That is known as middle void. Where meditation, meditation occurs. This void is essential. Nothing can happen without it. Right? In the ism, the landscape is called a sanchi. What is the meaning? Swan, mountain. What is the meaning? Swan? Sanchi means water, right? Sun, mountain, and then show water. So, however, it doesn't represent a real landscape. It is the Dyson's view of the universe. To understand Chinese painting, one must understand Dyson. Chinese painting, a Purinji Ganana, Nama Mother Dyson. Dyson, who dies his principles. He was a very famous painter. So, the mountains and water in the Chinese paintings are representative of Sanchi, and the unpainted space is representative of the Middle void where interaction between yin and yang takes place. Man is the medium of communication between the two complementary poles of the universe, and you can see his presence too in the Chinese painting. I hope you are understanding the lesson. Chapter highlights now you can see Chinese paintings are abstract in nature as they can't be defined and how to be felt or experienced. In contrast, there is illusionistic likeness in European painting. Their contrasting nature is explained through the anecdotes about Chinese painters who rises who disappear inside his painting. Another Chinese painter who did not want to paint the eyes of the dragon for fear that the dragon may attack him or see him. And Belgian painter Quentin Mitzis, uh, who painted a realistic play to marry the woman he loved. Chinese paintings are based on the philosophy of Dyson, which says that life has no meaning unless we undertake the inner spiritual journey. Chinese painters want the viewers active participation, not only physical, but also mental while viewing the paintings. According to Dyson, the interaction of two complementary poles, just as follows, in feminine and young masculine, makes the universe. Man is a medium of communication between the two complementary poles, that is their meeting point, and you can see his presence too in Chinese painting. I hope you are all understanding. 